as we do seminars, we're trying to educate people on two, there are two different types of towers. There's a counterflow tower and a crossflow tower. And both are great designs. But with your pumping head, your piping head, and all the new codes, you're going to have to calculate detailed pump head loss calculations. You're going to have to run yourself through it. Recognize on counterflow towers, there is no hot water deck. The spray nozzles. And those spray nozzles need three to six pounds of pressure to work. On a cross flow tower, you've got hot water basins that flow by gravity. The message is the counter flow tower has to have three to six pounds more pressure on your condenser water pumps than cross flow. That three to six pounds of pressure, maybe 10 to 15 feet of pump head. Don't come up short. You've got to do a detailed pump head loss calculation on your towers. Listen to me, please. Take the time to account for the pressure nozzles. You're going to need a safety factor on both fine, but you can't hide behind the safety factor. You're going to be short if you don't take the time to recognize the difference in the counter flow and the cross flow designs. Both work great, but recognize the pump head requirements on the counter flow will be higher. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a counter flow tower with the pressure drop. You see the spray nozzles through it, and the air is coming from the bottom going up, or it's coming from the top down, so therefore it's called counter flow. This is a piping seminar. What we're trying to teach you is you've got to put that three to six pounds of pressure where? Into your pump head loss calculation. It's just that simple. In a cross flow tower, you do have hot water distribution and you have hot water basins and just gravity flow. So you don't need the extra three to six pounds there because gravity takes care of it. So if you kind of look at all this counter flow versus cross flow, we kind of put this in here to give you, give you a picture of this. Um, it can be a pretty significant operating cost difference between the counter flow and the cross flow if you start looking at that pump head loss calculation required for the counter flow tower versus the cross flow. The main thing I'm trying to get across to you, don't come up short. Ashley says you've got to do a detailed pump head loss calculation. When you do that, account for this to make sure you got the right pump head on your condenser water pump. Thanks for tuning in. Have a great day.